Welcome back. And in this module, we're going to cover the reproductive system. So let's get into it. All right. Per usual, I need to reposition myself. Okay. So let's first talk about the female reproductive system. So there are, this is an image of the female reproductive system. It consists of ovaries, which are the organs where ova or eggs are produced, and it secretes estrogen and progesterone. So that's going to be here, the ovaries. The oviduct or fallopian tube is the tube through which the eggs move from the ovary to the uterus. Each of the two ovaries has an oviduct. And the fallopian tube is where fertilization occurs and the egg is then transferred to the uterus. So an egg will drop out of this ovary down the fallopian tube and this is where it gets fertilized by the sperm. It then will drop into the uterus which is the womb and it's where the embryo will develop until birth. It will attach to the endometrium or the inside wall of the uterus. So once that fertilized egg comes down, it will attach to the wall and then it will grow. The vagina is the birth canal. So that's actually going to be way down here. So um, this is the uterus. You have your cervix right here and then you have your vagina. So that's the birth canal. So during birth, the fetus passes through the cervix, which is right here, which is the mouth of the uterus into the vagina and then emerges outside of the body. And progesterone is produced in the corpus luteum after ov So the ovarian cycle, so menarche is the physiological process that marks the onset of the first menstrual period. Follicular phase is characterized by growth and development of the follicle. So if we look, do, 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 do. if we look over here, so ovarian cycle phases, we have the follicular phase and the luteal phase. So this first phase, the follicular phase, is characterized by growth and development of the follicles. Then once it grows and develops, then the follicle is released. The luteal phase is when the lining of the uterus normally gets thicker to prepare for possible pregnancy. So if you look at it, we have our follicular phase, and we, this carries down. So we have ovulation here. So the follicular phase is happening. The follicle is growing, and you know certain hormones are releasing. Things are going on, and then we ovulate when the follicle is released. So the body wants you to be pregnant, <laughs> and so it is saying the follicle is released. We now have to prepare because we're hoping that there is a baby or a, a fertilized egg. So the follicle is released, and the wall of the uterus is getting thicker to prepare for possible pregnancy during this luteal phase. The follicle stimulating hormone, which is this FSH, binds to granulosa cells to stimulate follicle growth, permit the conversion of androgens from theca cells to estrogens, and stimulate inhibin secretion. So that is, and you can see this um, follicle stimulating hormone, it kind of goes low and then when you ovulate it comes up and then it drops back down. LH acts on the theca cells to stimulate the production and secretion of androgens. So again, this kind of does like the same kind of waveform. And then these are the different hormones in the body. So as you can see, um, the estradiol stays really low until you ovulate and it's kind of in the middle and the progesterone stays really low until after you ovulate when it uh, increases. So the ovarian cycle for the ATITs you're probably not going to get a question on this, but, you know, I would know that the follicular phase comes first as it prepares for the follicle to grow. Then once the follicle is released, you have the luteal phase. So the male reproductive system. So the functions of the male reproductive system are to produce, maintain, and transfer sperm and semen into the female reproductive tract and to reproduce and secrete male hormones. 
So we have the testicles or testes are the male gonads and they are essential for reproduction. So you can see those are the orange down here. Sperm production in the testes takes place in the seminiferous, I don't know how you say that, tubules. The two testes are contained in the scrotum, a sac that hangs outside the abdominal body. So I will say for the female reproductive system for the T's, you definitely need to know the first slide we went over with the ovaries and um, the uterus and, you know, that the egg gets fertilized in the fallopian tubes. You need to know that. You also need to know this. So you need to know that sperm production is in the semiferous, I don't know how you say it, tubules. You need to know what all these different things are. So the epididymis is the coiled tube in which testes where sperm is stored and develop mobility. The vas deferens is one of the two muscular ducts carrying ejected sperm from the epididymis to the urethra. The urethra is a tube located in the penis that carries semen and urine. The seminal vesicles are two glands that during ejection secrete mucus, fructose, and hormones prostaglandin. The prostate gland is a large gland that secretes semen, a milky alkaline fluid containing sperm and other secretions into the urethra. And the bulb urethra or cowper gland secretes a fluid into the urethra to neutralize the acidity in the urethra. And Leydig cells produce testosterone. So sexual reproduction and development. So sperm is made in the testes whose process are controlled by the hormone testosterone. Eggs are produced in the ovaries and each month a single follicle matures and is released, releases an egg from the ovary. The mature egg enters the fallopian tube. Fertilization occurs when the sperm penetrates the egg, the sperm and ovum nuclei fuse and a zygote is formed, before dividing, a fertilized egg is known as a zygote. The zygote moves to the uterus where it's implanted in the endometrium. The growing cell undergoes rapid mitosis and becomes an embryo. We remember what mitosis is, right? If it fails to be fertilized, the egg will eventually dissolve within the fallopian tube. On the following month, a new egg will descend and the process will begin again. So we have our ovary. We have our egg or our o oocyte. It is released. The sperm penetrates. The egg is fertilized in the fallopian tube. That may be a question. Know where the egg is fertilized. So day one, it's a zygote because it has not divided at all. It hasn't undergone any cell division. And it then, you know, day two is two cells. Then it goes four cells. Then it goes eight cells. Day five becomes a blastocyte, and then it implants on day eight or nine, and then it grows into a baby. So that is the end of the reproductive system. Make sure to study those slides. I know this was kind of a quick one, but there's a lot of terms in there that would be important to memorize, and then you can move on to the worksheet and then take the quiz, and I will see you in the next module. You guys are doing great. Bye.